Hey guys, how's it going? Fred here, AF Math and Engineering, and today we're looking at a Calculus 1 topic, and it's really the, one of the basis and the foundations of this course. Something that you definitely should have learned in, in high school uh, if you're not super familiar with this topic. This is the video for you. We're going to go over it. It might be a good refresher if you're going into first year, and you really want to make sure that you, you, know, you have everything under control. So let's take a look, and we'll just go over these two terms. The domain essentially means all the valid numbers that you can put into x, okay, so that the function is defined, okay? So it's the range, the range of numbers that you can put into x, which is the independent variable, okay, which will yield a dependent variable y value that exists. So it's not undefined, you're not dividing by zero. And the range, okay, is once you've input all of those values, or all of the domain values into x, which values are you going to get out of the function, okay? So there's, there's an easy way to do this. I mean, the domain, okay, we just need to look at what kind of function we have and we can solve for it either mathematically or just, you know, we can just look at it and see whether or not values are okay to put in, okay? And the range, okay, is actually the, if, if we take the inverse of the function, which I'll show you in a second, the domain of the inverse of the function is equal to the range, okay? So with that being said, let's start. So the first question is, is fairly simple. So we have what's called a polynomial here, okay? And for any, for any polynomial, all right, the domain is going to be all real numbers, okay? So for, for a polynomial, there's no real number that we can put into x that will make the function undefined, okay? So we simply put, okay, the, the domain is equal to, we have all real numbers, so we're going to write it as from negative infinity to infinity, okay? So with this notation as well, we're going to use circular brackets always for infinities, okay? Circular brackets mean do not include, square brackets means include this number, but for infinity, forget that and just use these circular brackets, okay? Now for the range, like I said before, we're going to use the inverse of the function. So what, what does that mean? Well, all it means is that we're going to flip the y and x values and we're going to solve for y, okay? So if we rewrite it as, so this is y equals 2x plus 1, so let's write it as x equals 2y plus 1, okay? Then solving for y, we should get, over here I'm going to draw a little arrow, we should have y equals x minus 1 over 2, okay? So this is the inverse of the function, and as we can see here, there is no value that we can put into x that would make this function undefined. Okay, so as a result of that, the domain of this inverse function is infinity, or all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity, which means that the range is also negative infinity, infinity. Okay, so that was simple enough. I'll just give these a red box for you. Now let's move on to the next one. So now that I've explained, let's do it a little quicker. So once again, we have a polynomial and we know with a polynomial, the domain is always negative infinity, infinity. However, if we have a polynomial to the second, the third, the fourth power, we always need to check what our range is, okay? So our range isn't automatically this, all right? That's just the domain. So how do we do it? Same way, we take the inverse of the function. So we're going to say that x is equal to y squared, okay? And y is equal to square root of x, all right? So we've simplified that. Now, we do have a condition here for the range, okay? For, well, we're solving for the domain of the inverse, is that when we put a value into a square root, it always needs to be greater or equal to zero, okay? So let's take that inside of the root over here, and we'll say that x must always be greater than or equal to zero, okay? And knowing that condition, that's it, we're done. Now we have the domain of the inverse, okay? Which is going to be, and it's including zero, okay? because it's greater than or equal to in the root, and that is going to go to infinity, okay? So our range will be, for this function, zero, infinity, all right? Fairly simple again. Now let's do one that's a little trickier, okay? So let's take a look at this one down here, all right? We have g of x is equal to ln of x plus six, okay? and as we've discussed before, okay, if we take the inverse of the function and we find the domain of that function, 
that is going to be our range or equal to our range, okay? So, well, we have to look at the kind of function that we have and we have to determine where it's undefined. And we know that for ln or ln x, x needs to be greater than zero for ln to be defined, okay? So in this case, it's just gonna be x plus six needs to be greater than zero. So let's come down here and we'll say that, and we'll go ahead and we'll replace the, uh, the x and the y, all right? So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we have x equals ln y plus six, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take e to the entire equation. So e to the x and then e to the ln y plus six and then the e to the ln is gonna cancel, all right? So e to the ln is gonna cancel and we're going to be left with e to the x equals y plus six. Now we just need to isolate for y and solve. Okay, and here we have it. Okay, so we have the inverse of the function and if we take a look at that function, there's no real number that we can plug into x that won't give us a value of y, okay? So this, this function is defined for all real numbers, okay? So the range of our function here, okay, is going to be, okay, negative infinity to infinity, all right? And then we just did this one the other way around. We started with the range. Let's take a look at the domain, all right? And the domain, as we discussed before, okay, this is going to need to be greater than zero. All right, so for the domain over here, this was the range. All right, the domain is going to have to be, okay, x plus six is gonna to have to be greater than zero. Okay, so x must be greater than negative six. Okay, and that's greater than, not greater than or equal to. All right, don't make that mistake because that would, that would get me, the question incorrect, or your answer incorrect. Okay, so how do we write that? Well, our domain is not including negative six to infinity. All right, thank you guys for watching. That was a really simple video on domain and range. We solved a few questions here of different types. The thing that I can suggest to you the most in, in this topic is just to understand which functions are undefined where and for which parameters, and once you know that, then you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.